Okay. Coffee, phone, YouTube. Here we go. Happy December. We're talking gifts. Holiday season's right around the corner. If you guys know any filmmakers out there, you know it's very hard to come up with ideas and gifts for them because everything in filmmaking is so freaking expensive. So, I wanted to come up with 10 cheap-ish items from 10 to 100 bucks. Something that I really enjoy that a lot of other filmmakers will enjoy as well. And it's always nice just to have one more of these tools around. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. Let's start out with number one. Number one is gonna be step up rings. These are used for adapting filters. If you have a bigger sized filter and you wanna fit it on a smaller sized lens, you can use these to step up to the filter size. So you can use one filter for multiple lenses even if they're different sizes. Super great, 10 bucks, moving on. And number two on the list is going to be an SD card for your camera. Any videographer and photographer will tell you you can never have enough SD cards. The one I recommend is a pro-grade 64 gigabyte SD card. They're super affordable, about $35. It's gonna cover all of your mirrorless cameras and everything like that for the read and write speeds that you're looking for. So super great value for a little nice SD card. Number three, the Polar Pro Slate. I did a little review on these several, several months ago, but I still love the heck out of it. It's a little, it's a nice SD card holder case. Something to keep all your SD cards safe while you're out on the go. So, solid, nothing's gonna happen. Keep the footage safe, you know what I mean. Number four, gaff tape. This stuff, I've talked about this stuff in another previous video, but it's still amazing. Super nice. Gaff tape is a particular tape that doesn't leave a residue. Um, so whether you're taping up a piece of paper, a reflector, lights, whatever you're taping up, it's not gonna really leave a, it's not gonna leave a residue on anything you put it on. So super, super valuable stuff. I carry this in my bag every single day. Use it all the time. Um, so super great little tool, super great little gift to give to a filmmaker. And yeah, that's gaff tape. Number five on the list is buying a cheap or vintage lens for your camera. Um, I actually got this for Christmas last year and it's been a lot of fun. So I just was looking on Amazon and I found this on Amazon for $30. Super little dinky little teeny lens, but it has super fun characteristics. I've actually ended up filming an entire video on this guy and it gave a really cool look to my video. Um, but super fun, like little lens. You can find a vintage lens for under hundred bucks. You can find one of these for under hundred bucks and they're just super fun to have around and always, always just a fun laugh for any filmmaker photographer out there and it gives, and it gives a fun creative look to your footage. So little vintage lens, little cheaply made lens on Amazon, just find the right mount for the camera. It's a lot of fun. Number six, five in one reflectors. These things mm, cost like 20 bucks. <laughs> okay, these things are amazing. Got, you know, a bounce. Get a gold side, black and silver side, and in the center is a diffusion. These things come in handy so much on shoots. If you need a little bit extra light, if you need a little bit of a negative in your lighting or anything like that, they're super cheap, super, super handy to have around. Ugh. And they break down nice and compact. You can get different sizes. I think this is like 48 inch or something like that. But yeah, these are super fun to have around. Always a welcome gift and I wouldn't be upset with having like three, honestly. So if they've already got one, just get them another one. But moving on, number seven, here we come. I had to put it in here. I had to do it. I had to do it. Coffee, coffee guys. Gifts, coffee, the gift of coffee, not a, mm the best gift. 
Let's be real. We're filmmakers. We have to stay up super long nights editing. What's gonna get you through? Coffee. They're, you know, 20 bucks. 20 bucks for a bag. Always a welcome, welcome gift. Always. Number seven, the gift of coffee. Love it. Number eight just came out this year and I am loving them. The Moment Cine Bloom filter. Um, I don't have it with me, unfortunately. It's actually not mine, it's on loan from a friend and he needed it for the weekend. So um, I'll throw a couple pictures about what it looks like, but basically this is a diffusion filter. It gives a really soft, unique look to your footage. Coming in at just around 60 to $70, depending on the size you get. Um, but highly, highly recommend these filters, they're super, super, super unique and give a really good look to your films, really cinematic and everything like that. So if you're looking to get that cinematic look, definitely recommend picking one of these up as a gift for somebody or yourself, not gonna lie, I might do that myself. But anyway, Moments in Bloom, they got a 10, 20%, check them out. Last but not least, number 10 on the list, Rode Video Micro. This thing's been around for many years now, but still a beast of a budget lens. This thing's coming in right at $100, but really, really good sound quality for what you're getting for the price. You can just slap this on top of your camera and it's gonna instantly improve the audio quality of your videos. You can even get them for your iPhone if that's something you like to film with. It's really gonna increase your audio quality in your videos. Super great little tool, super great gift. Um, it's small, compact, and everything like that. So would recommend highly picking up one of these as a gift option. So that's gonna be it for today, guys. Those are my 10 recommendations for buying a gift for any filmmaker or photographer out there, any creative out there in your area of gift giving, friends and family, and anybody else like that. I hope you guys got a couple of ideas for some gifts. Without further ado, I will see you guys next week. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you guys like to see any of my photography or other video projects. I post almost everything over there. Thanks so much for watching though, and I will see you next week. Peace.